Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be learning how to get the Minecraft Shaders mod working with the Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod. And in general for Minecraft 1.7.10 because it seems to have stopped working and a lot of people are having trouble getting it running. So I'm going to show you how to do it and I can't take credit for the solution. I actually found the solution on a forum somewhere and then when I was setting up for this video I realized that someone had posted almost the exact same solution on the Minecraft Lord of the Rings wiki. I'm going to link to that stuff in the description below and you guys can go check it out if you need any additional details. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is download the shaders mod itself. So we're going to go to the Minecraft forum here and I will put a link in the description as usual. We're going to scroll down until we get to Minecraft 1.7.10 and we are going to also take note of the fact that it is only compatible with Forge versions up to 1566 there. So the newest versions may not work 100%. I would recommend going with this version. So, that done, we're going to download it right here, and we're going to continue on. Now, what we need to do next is basically go to Minecraft here. We are going to, I have a testing profile set up. We're going to edit profile, we're going to open uh, the game directory, and we are going to copy the shaders mod, which is over here, into my mods folder. So, this is what you should end up with, and we are going to go back. I'm going to leave this open for now because we're going to try and run it. And let me show you something here. Let's try. We're going to hit run. Load her up. It's going to start loading Forge. And we will see what happens. And we got a crash. Yep, we definitely have a crash. And this is the problem that I was having in the past and a lot of other people were having as well. And let me show you how to fix that very quickly. One of the problems is, well, the main problem is is that this shaders mod does not seem to be compatible with Java 8. Now, that means that you have to use Java 7 as of right now, as of the time of this tutorial. It may change in the future with a new Java version, but right now you need to use Java 7. And I'll show you how to change that. If you don't have Java 7 installed, you're gonna have to go and download it and install it yourself. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. I'm gonna assume that if you've been running Minecraft for a while, if you've been installing Java, it will keep an old version on your computer for whatever reason, but it's generally there. So what you need to do is change the executable right here. Right now you'll see it's set for Java 1.8, blah, 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 in my programs. Actually, it's my Minecraft uh, folder. It has its own Java 8 version. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over here. We're gonna go to program files because I have Java installed here separately. And for whatever reason, Minecraft loves to use Java in its own folder, but I'm gonna show you. We got Java here and you'll see a bunch of versions here. But what you will see is the latest Java 1.7 or 7.0 version. This is the last version, basically. We're going to go here. We're going to go to the binary folder. We're going to look for Java W. See that? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually copy this location right there. Uh, and I'm going to go back to my Java executable location here. I'm going to select this up to the binary here. I am going to hit V. And we now have it using Java 7 using my actual folder. So we're going to save the profile there. And we're going to try it again. All right. And you can see now that we have it loaded and it seems to be working. If we go to our options here, you will see an option has appeared called shaders. And uh, we're not going to go into that right now. Basically, we want to quit this. We want to get out. And we are going to, if we go back to our folder here, we will see that a little folder called shader packs has appeared. And what that basically is, is you have to download shader packs from certain people. The shaders mod itself does not include any shader packs. Now, if you go back to the Minecraft forums page here that I was on before, you will see there are a bunch of links to all kinds of different shaders you can use. And some of them include other things. Um, some of them are for high-end PCs, low-end PCs. You generally need a good PC to be able to run shaders. But I'm going to download a few of them and we will try and go through some and I'll show you some of the problems and some of the maybe partial solutions. I will probably have a video out in the future showing more, but for now we're going to download a few and I will be back in a minute. All right, so we are in Minecraft here and let's test out our new shaders. We're going to go, we're going to hit escape here. We're going to go to options. We're going to go to shaders and you can see that I've installed a bunch of these things. So let's just choose a couple here and we'll give it a shot. We'll start with uh, Chocopix. Check that out. Shaders are working. We have shadows. We have, well, a very, very buggy sky. Can you see that? The way it's all screwed up there. 
Let me show you very quickly how to fix that. And what we're going to need to do is quit out of here very quickly. We're going to go back to the title. We're going to go to mods. We're going to go to Lord of the Rings mod. And we're going to scroll down to right here. Middle Earth Sky. We're going to need to turn that off because it seems to affect how the shaders are rendered, especially the sky. And we're going to go back into our little world here. And that should have fixed the sky. Now I got to warn you, go, whoa, that is bright. That is bright. Wow, I'm almost blinded here, but it looks beautiful, right? It looks amazingly gorgeous. Now you will see there are some sort of bugs here and there, depending on the shader. I'm not sure if that's to do with my drivers personally, or to do with the mod, or to do with just the fact that this shader's mod is quite old now. I don't know, but some of them seem to work better than others. Anyway, that is pretty cool. At least we have shadows, we have gorgeous looking water. We have a bunch of other stuff. Now, let me go through a couple more here, and I'll just show you some of the differences. Now, one of the problems is... Uh, actually, hold on a sec. Let me just sort of go through a couple here. We're going to go here to this only water shader. Because that is actually a decent one with Lord of the Rings. Because all it does is affect the water. So, if you don't want any other weird bugs, you can actually leave the sky on. And you can basically just turn off this and you get a nice water effect. Beautiful looking water. And the rest of Minecraft looks okay. Uh, one of the problems with this mod is that in Minecraft Lord of the Rings, the shaders mod doesn't necessarily work very well with the day-night cycle because in Lord of the Rings, the day-night cycle is substantially slower. It's basically halved. So the days and nights last twice as long. And because of the way shaders mod generally work, they have their own day-night cycle built into them. So it ends up screwing up everything. I will show you later what, what actually happens. Let's try a few other ones here. The CUDA shaders... Um, people say they work fine, but for me, they do not. See that problems there? A lot of graphical problems. Generally, it looks like a nice mod, but I cannot get it working well. Um, one of the best ones as far as... Let's actually go through this one right here. Sildur's Vibrant Shaders. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous with Minecraft Lord of the Rings. Hey, does that not look beautiful? And even inside... Ugh, it looks good. Let me close this. That looks pretty nice. The torches are a little bit yellow for my taste, but generally it looks pretty, pretty cool. It is really gorgeous, actually, honestly. But let me show you one of the problems you're going to end up with. We're going to go to the map here very briefly, and we are going to... I'm in creative, so it doesn't matter. Let's go over to... Let's go over to Mordor. Why not? We'll hit Mordor. We'll just sort of fast travel over here very quickly. In fact, we'll teleport. And I'll show you the problem. Well, you can probably see the problem. Um, the problem is that the clouds and the sky are all, and including the sun, are all done in the shader mod itself. So you are going to go into Mordor and you're going to find that, well, that's not great. Blue skies, looks looks really nice. <laughs> and this is not how Mordor should look. That is a big problem with these shader packs in general, is they don't take into account what biome you're in. Especially in Minecraft Lord of the Rings, so yeah, it's a problem. And it's a problem that I don't really know how to fix. I have done some testing to try and fix, wow, some of the issues and I haven't been able to fix it. You also notice a lot of lag and that is caused by the shaders mod itself just generating lag. I'm getting about 50 frames per second here or so, but I'm definitely getting a lot of lag. But let's go back in and we'll take a look at a couple of other shaders here. Look at Mr. Meeps, this one, version 0.5 premium. Now that one is actually much better. You still have a bit of lag, um, but it generally looks a little bit more like Mordor. It doesn't affect the sky in the same way. You still do have the sun looking kind of crazy though, which is not ideal. But what are you going to do, I guess? You can't have everything perfect, right? The, again, this is sort of just getting the shaders mod working itself. It's not perfecting the shaders. It's not helping you choose a shader. You may want to swap out certain shaders depending on where you are in the world. Um, let's try a couple other ones here. There is also an, en an enhanced default shader, which basically takes you back to what I would assume is the original Mordor look. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't actually work here 100%. It does allow you to have sort of waving trees and stuff like that. And you get the nice new water, but it doesn't screw up the rest of the mod. You unfortunately do not get... Um, a lot of the details that you would normally, but you do get shadows as well. So, I mean, this is something you might want to use just sort of to enhance the look 
of the Lord of the Rings mod itself without screwing you over completely as far as other stuff goes. Again, it doesn't look quite as good, but it's not bad. I'll take you to Nindorf. I got my wet wang. <laughs> yep. This is not too bad, actually. The area looks pretty good. Again, um, you're going to have some serious performance problems, even with a high-end PC, uh, if you're running shaders. Uh, if you're not recording, you're probably okay, generally. I'm getting about 50 frames per second, 55 to... 50 to 55 frames per second. If I'm looking up, it's about 60. If you're in places with a lot of water or a lot of waving plants, you may end up having problems. Again, you can go into some of the shaders and disable certain functions. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but you may be able to do that depending on your skill level. It is nighttime here in the Shire and you can see that it looks pretty gorgeous. I mean, the plants are waving around, the trees are waving around beneath me. Um, some of the plants you'll notice are not waving around because they are Minecraft Lord of the Rings specific plants and they don't really work together with the mod, but some of them definitely do. It looks pretty good. Again, the moon is weird. It is a vanilla moon and um, there's not much you can do about that. You can go into options and you can go into video settings, details, and you can turn the moon off itself uh, and you sort of end up with this, which is not ideal either. And running the shaders mod, especially with modded Minecraft like Lord of the Rings or something like that, is a trade-off. You have to sort of figure out the best way to do it. And honestly, right now, it's probably only good for screenshots or very basic stuff. If you're not worried about the day-night cycle screwing up, if you're not worried about some graphical glitches or performance problems, then it does really work well. Now, let's go inside here and take a look at... What it looks like inside at night. Again, certain mods are better than others. I tend to think it makes the torches too yellow. And you end up with stuff like this. I mean, that looks not great to me, honestly. The torches are too bright and too yellow. You can go into the mods themselves if you are a coder. Or if you have um, some basic ideas of how to edit stuff. And you can fix it up. You can change the colors and the brightness and lots of different things. Um, you can also fix the day-night cycle. I probably will do another tutorial on that how to fix the day-night cycle at some point. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the butt and it depends on the shader, but it definitely is possible with certain shaders. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Take care guys and have yourselves a great day.